So this week's episode of Pursuit of Greatness, we are here at Pamplona Restaurant, and we have none other than Chef Andre Rush, world-renowned Chef Andre Rush. He's going to walk us through one of his famous recipes. We're going to talk, uh, talk a little shop in the kitchen, talk about a little health and wellness, talk about um, mental health, you know, and just have a, our live, raw, candid conversation, talk about his journey. So stay tuned. My pursuit to greatness. Greatness, greatness. My, 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 my pursuit to greatness. It's my pursuit to yeah. greatness. Let's get it popping. This tunnel vision forever locked in. Winning mandatory. Losing never been an option. Plenty trolls on many roads. They try to block success. But I strive very breath. I ain't never stopping. Yep. It's gone. Touchdown. Lee Bobby. Still one. <laughs> still one. <laughs> Come on up. Hey, what's happening? What it do? What it do? <laughs> what's up, yeah, how's it going? How's everything? Good seeing you, good seeing you, good seeing you. How are you, brother? <laughs> good, good, good. All right, so I guess shall we uh, head to the kitchen? Yeah, we're trying to eat, damn it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. What, what we got today? What you got for us today? So we're making my famous farmhouse burger today. Oh. Farmhouse burger, that's going to be, I, I love the whole farm. <laughs> I'm sal sal so, salivating already. So, so I have uh, beef, I have turkey, and I also have pork. And we're going to mix these three proteins together. I like, this is like an 80-20. I also like the way they collide together. But I'm also making it to like an Asian confusion because I love different types of flavor profiles. The benefit of this is packed in protein. Uh, I do a little bit with the, the good and the bad fat, right? So this is one of my go-to, especially if I'm trying to get in my, uh, my protein intake. I do one to two. So I do uh, two grams of protein for every body pound. So that's my schedule, that's my rhythmatic go. So we, we're gonna just do a dump. This is gonna be easy, I mean really easy. I hate that complicated thing when people have to go X, Y, and Z and so forth, and you're gonna blink and it's gonna be over here. So what I have you guys do is, one knife, one knife, your knife, this is my knife, right? We'll open this and we're gonna dump this in here. Equal parts, this one right here is gonna be like a quarter of that one to go inside. This is ground turkey, which is 100% lean. Right, so it has no fat inside of it, which makes it a little bit drier. You also got to remember that my beef is on 80 to 20, so it has a little bit more in it. And then also my pork has a different little profile as well with that uh, fat. So it's going to just kind of marry all together. You want it just to melt. Like you said, I'm, I'm dumping the whole, yep. the whole, whole, whole thing inside. Okay. Yep. You can tell just by how solid, squishy that is, that they're just straight all together. Equal parts. We're gonna season them, we're gonna mix all this up together, right? What I'm gonna have you guys do is, we're gonna start off with some chives, green onions, rather. Um, we're gonna have some, you won't cut your finger, <laughs> some cilantro. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, we can just throw everything right inside here. Literally, it's not a couple. Of, there's only a couple of ingredients for this, so it doesn't take it long at all, right? I give you a couple of little quick. We got some ginger. Uh, we got some garlic. We got some uh, green lady garlic. Get that. How long does that take you to get like that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like that that fast? Because I can't do that that yeah, fast. I, I watch the chefs. I was born that way. I'm just joking. It just, it's just spread. No, 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 no. That's from that. That's just from practice. You know. I mean, if you're in the industry, you got to be proficient and fast at whatever you do. So, uh, of course. That's 
got some red peppers, and then we're gonna have a, a couple of um, profiles with some uh, soy and uh, some sesame oil. So they all kind of marry together, and they all serve a purpose, right? When you mix food up together, and then it just gives you that different type of feeling, you know? Now, now, Chef, one thing um, that we put an emphasis on, or with, you know, with this show, we talk about the journey, right? Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, so, you know, the, the, your story, you're very inspirational, very, very, very motivational. Um, I've worked, obviously, world-renowned chef, um, served at the White House military, uh, you know, known, known for your push-ups. I mean, I, I, but you, you just didn't become Chef Rush overnight. No, 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 I, I uh, did <laughs> Not even at all. And it was actually a, an accident. I wasn't, I'm actually not supposed to even be here. I wasn't supposed to be a chef. Everything has a purpose and way, and you know, we never know what our direction or our life or God may take us. Mm -hmm. So some things, uh, I mean, I have uh, different degrees, uh, but this is the one that I chose to use my platform for. And it's the one that I can reach millions, you know, like you guys, you know, and, and, and I'm appreciative, I'm grateful of that. Right? And don't get me wrong, I'm also a badass chef. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and everybody loves to eat, man. So, you know, you're getting everybody puffed up. And as far as not only physically, you know, but mentally and, you know, and eating a great meal, you know what I'm saying? So, so talk to us about just, um, you know, because I see the chain, man. And it says, uh, you can do anything, never give up and keep going. All right? And so talk to us about like that, that inspiration in those words. Uh, it gave me chill bumps because that's really personal and near and dear. And we're going to reflect that a little bit later also. But uh, those, these exact words was what my mother told me when I was a little boy in Columbus, Mississippi, with no direction basically, in a little small town where you just had a railroad track and everybody that was going to make it worked at the railroad. You know, and she said, you could do anything. You could be what you want to be and do it. She also told me that it's my, her dying day, right? Um, which is why I made this coin. You know, it's a challenge coin. You know, we all have a military from the presidents to everyone. And uh, after, uh, uh, long story short was, um, I was doing a commercial with uh, Gary V and my sister called me up and told me that, you know, if you want to see your mother alive again, you know, you need to get there uh, to Columbus, Mississippi. I left, had no idea what she was talking about, and um, got there. My mother was on the bed, she bedridden, lost 60 pounds. She couldn't walk, she couldn't talk, and she just had this blank look in her face. And uh, I cried like a, like a baby. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mama's boy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and you know, and it, it's funny because I'm, I'm from the South, and you know, demographically, things hit people, you know, and it, you know, like it's just like my mother was the one who started me cooking. And uh, people didn't know that I wasn't supposed to cook. My dad believed that all the boys go to work and all the girls go to school, but no boys were going to cook right. at all. No, no boys in the kitchen. No boys in the kitchen. And I used to sneak and go cooking with my mother when I was a kid, mm -hmm. right? And she would let me and let me taste the stuff and eat the stuff. And, um, but to go back to my mother was that she told me that, um, she told me that um, I'm going to, <sighs> she, she, she was on a dying bed and I cried. I was distraught. I mean, I, I was going, I was doing everything for everybody else right. and I wasn't doing anything for myself. And I was doing all these things over and over and over again. And what happened was I had to leave the next week before I got to make it back on that Saturday, she passed away. Uh, that was also the day that um, my anniversary for being Chef Rush and doing what I was doing, you know, and I found out that I didn't know why she didn't tell me because she wanted me to keep doing what I was doing and she told my family not to tell me anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the hardest part about it. And um, the next week after that, she was buried, which is also her birthday. And then the next day after that, I decided to give up. Mm -hmm. 
literally, I decided to give up. I, I just said, I'm done. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do anything else. That's understandable, you know, like I said, um, you know, my moms, you know, especially, you know, you know boys, you know, mom, mom, boy, that, that relationship, man, they, everything. It, it is, it is, it is. You know, you, you the, the thing, the one thing that people don't understand is you try to do things organically, regardless of the fact, and, and sometimes you're gonna have people that's gonna come at you regardless of what you do. Mm -hmm. Whether your intentions are good or bad or indifferent, people just are people. They're going to come at you. And sometimes you ask yourself, is this even worth it? You know, do you wanna give up? Right. You know, what's your obstacles? You know, what's your cause? What's your drive? And all these different things. I did, and uh, I hid for that Sunday. And all of a sudden, I'm getting all these calls. I'm getting all these other different things. I'm getting so many messages and and I'm like what's going on I can't just mourn my mother right. be in peace and peace right and uh, found out that I had went um, I went viral from something very old and it was just very odd that that happened that, 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 happened, that, that it happened at that time you know I mean from her passing to my anniversary to the next week was my her birthday to the next week um, and then the next day I'm going viral and right when I was finished, I looked up, and I'm a very religious person, mm -hmm. and I said, um, you did this, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And after that, I, I made this coin, and uh, I went there from there, mm -hmm. and I gave all homage to her and to everybody else that I wanted to help and that I am helping, whether you're the weakest or the strongest or your child, woman, it didn't matter who, black, white, it didn't matter, we we're all in this thing together. Right. About the push-ups, you know. I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, you you you're sitting here looking uh, looking Jack, you know, putting us to shame right now. Um, so yeah, so so tell, tell us how the uh, how the push-up started. So uh, the push-up started. Is there was a couple different stories to caveat for that. The push-ups. Uh, I do the 2,222 push-ups a day. Huh? Huh? What time? For you know, for 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 the people in the back. 2,222 push-ups a day. Uh, I, now I, I, I take off Saturday and Sunday just because I have to recharge and I eat a lot, right? <laughs> in the beginning I was doing them every day, but now I do them um, for that. But I, I get up at three o'clock in the morning, I meditate, I think about everything negative for my meditation. So I was um, in an inpatient for six months, another inpatient for six months. I was in an outpatient for a year. I have PTSD, I, I went open with that and told a lot of people and what happened was, it was a, uh, like a domino effect. I got so many people that praise big guys, little guys, females, you know, uh, kids, and everybody else who said, if this guy's doing this, and he can do it, if he needs help, then I, I need something to and, and that's something very, very important. And especially in today's uh, climate, day and age, that, um, you know, mental health is, is, is such um, um, emphasis that we, we can't, put enough on honestly no no no, no. Mm -hmm. and we're all you know to, to one degree or another indirect directly indirectly you know dealing with you know anxiety uh, you know depression i mean you know you you, you name it so. you know and then the thing about that is is that people don't understand that you know stress is the number one killer in this world you know and and i use my cooking as therapy and i've used it for therapy you know cooking to cope for guys in the military females in the military kids uh with my non-profit like with your non-profit doing things that make people unorthodox, yeah. you know, not the whole cliche, but just being 100% organic and trying to help and get people to see things differently. You know, it's funny because when I do the stuff with the kids, that my biggest group of kids are the guys. Mm -hmm. they, they love it, the little boys. Mm -hmm. They like, I want to be a superhero like you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, they like, I want to be a superhero, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, and you know, that, that makes me feel happy. That makes me feel proud. You know, when I talk about the kids, which is bullying, cyberbullying, anti-bullying, you know, I, 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 I use the word bullying. I don't talk about suicide uh, because it's a, it had a stigma, it has a stigma. That's, it's kind of like with other things in uh, our society that we try to, we hear it and we turn our backs to it because you don't want to address it. Only time you address it is when it's happened to you. Exactly. And then it becomes so important. Right. Now, it's, yeah, now, now it's important. And I tell people, even with my things that I do, uh, my push, doing the 2,222, I said, 
whatever your cause is, just do it. Yeah. You know, one one time, this guy and everybody has to be combative. He was in the military, and he says to me, he's like, "What is push-ups gonna do to save lives?" That's what he said. <laughs> but talk to us. Tell us. Tell us what you think. I I think it was bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm mean, gonna be very, very honest with you. No, please. Uh, and I, and I, well, the whole point of this conversation is to be raw, so, is to be candid. And and I said to him, and I said to him, and I addressed him. Mm -hmm. I said, "What does wearing pink or walking gonna got to do with cancer? Right. What does pouring ice buckets over somebody else's head right. has to do with ALS?" Exactly. Right? I said it's about a cause and a reason. Mm -hmm. You saying it's as you as an individual. Mm -hmm. I've had hundreds of thousands of messages mm -hmm. with people saying thank you for doing this, right? Mm -hmm. right? And I got she one person mm -hmm. that is saying, what is it going to do? Scrape and taste. Scrape and taste. That's what I'm talking about. I like it. Get all the inside information. See how it just goes like that? You don't have to even right. push on it. A sharp knife, right? Good. Okay. Let me see. So you don't have to push on it. You just let it slice. Just like, yeah. See how you're pushing down? Remember, it's a knife, so you're gonna do a little cut first. Do like a little slide. Like it looks like, don't push down, just do a little slide like you do in here. Yep. See that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's all. Yep. That one look good. Ooh. I got I got this on this. I know, right? <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> don't get on no love. We can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, Chang version. Uh, yeah. Get in the fight. Uh, pickle. A pickle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. This is why I'm a league. This is why I'm a league. That was all you. Right. This is why I'm a league because every once in a while you got to taste something like this. Yeah. See, there you go. What? It's a lot of flavors. Juicy, man. It's but you notice how the, the mixture of the meats, that's why I call it farmhouse burger. I don't discriminate. I like them all. <laughs> Okay, chef. So, uh, so obviously, you know, with your push-ups, um, I'm sure you come across a lot of people just, you know, try to call you out, challenge you. Mm -hmm. uh, so, t I guess, tell us about tell us about that. I mean, how 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 are you challenge? Because I'm ready to challenge you. You ready, ready to challenge me? I'm ready. Oh. I'm just hey, yeah, yeah. But I say we can do a handicap thing, two on, you know, two on one. Two on one. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, we'll take that. So, and you're right about that. I am challenged all the time. You know, people challenge me about my push-ups. You know, I do the 2,222 push-ups, um, and I do them for a reason, for a cause. You know, and people always ask to see them. People always, when I'm going out, people want to do the push-ups with me, and they don't understand a couple things. I'm challenged. I am always challenged. But then, in return. I challenge them back. Okay. I know what I can do. I know what I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to challenge you guys in return. Good. I'm right? okay. up for a challenge, man. And I told you about my challenge coin. Yes, sir. You know, 222 push-ups mm -hmm. in 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you guys a break. All right. All right. 
I was looking forward to that though. I know. I, mean, I know. I, 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 I know. You know, you know, well, you know Shetty Fowl. So, good Shetty. I, I, I love that. So these are my new challenge coins. I just had them made. They actually have uh, gold inside of them. Nice. Because it shows their worth and value, mm -hmm. right? In front of it, same thing. The back of it, military services and all that. And on the around the edges of it, it says, "Because of you, I didn't give up," mm -hmm. which means everything. Mm -hmm. And I mean that for every person, whether it's positive or negative, mm -hmm. and so forth. But here's what I want to do: I only want to do seven push-ups with you guys. Seven. Seven, Six. right? Yeah, I mean, that too. the truth of the matter is, you're not going to do your 200, 222. <laughs> that's not going to happen. You right? You're right. You're not? We're going to get on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then the first thing we're going to do is, you know why I do this? Because they're for a cause. Mm -hmm. You're going to give me your cause of why. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. What's your cause and what's your reason? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I have a bunch, so I can say all of them or whatever it is. Family, love, relationships, um, health, peace, anything. Right. Yeah. And then we're going to get on, on the floor and we're going to do our push-ups. And we're going to leave the coins right there. Right. So you do these seven push-ups, the coin is yours. Okay. Okay, so okay. put the coin on the yeah, floor right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put it here for motivation. All right. All right. Is there a certain way I got to do it? We just no, no, you. so. I'm like the NFL, my, uh, my, my treats, my cause. Well, my cause is um, every little boy and girl, you know, that, that you know, we, you know, whether we realize it or not, man, um, we're, all, we're all role models, um, we're all storytellers. We want to give um, much inspiration, motivation, every little boy and girl out there, man. They could, they could do anything, they could be anything. And it's not just, you know, I just don't want it to be, be words. I want it, yeah. Do anything, be anything. Yeah. And love. I love it. Yeah. And, and my saying is kind of just like yours, is believe in yourself and let everything be fueling. And you talked about that. And it's just giving people fuel. And, you know, it starts with inside. And loving yourself. And that's why, again, that's what I feel like people should do. And, you know, little things like this shows, you know, your love to yourself. That you, you push yourself to some limit. So. So whatever I do, you guys look at me and just do the exact same thing I do. I'm going in a slow space, pace or faster pace or whatever. Oh, you ready? Yeah, Here we go. Yeah. We're going. Oh, we're going down. Yeah, yeah. We're going okay. down. Okay. Oh, so, oh, oh. we're doing that. Oh, this is the motion push ups. Yeah. So people don't understand. See, Stop. Oh. Stability. Right? Yeah, it's stability. Right? So people don't understand is that a struggle comes in many different forms and fashion. You gotta understand that. What's your struggles? Uh, my struggles? Yeah. Uh, anxiety. What's your struggles? Stress. You know, I'm at peace, man. At peace? I, I don't have right. a lot of struggles in my life, man. I yep. try to eliminate those, you know, and just be peaceful, like you said, meditating. Exactly. And just stay within. You no, know, we all have struggles, man. But I don't, I don't see them as struggles, man. I mean, I just see them as something that I could get through and get past. And there we go. It's make me better. There we go. We yeah. always gotta get, keep going. Right. Well, you know what? Let, 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 well, let me, up. let, well, let me, let me rephrase mine. <laughs> well, in that case, let me rephrase mine. Seven, I don't know if I can do seven of these. I'm about to say, is, 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 this, is this still one? Oh my, let's see, see, we, we should have got, got a disclaimer of, of the, type, the type of seven we were doing. See, Here we go, coming down. I'm just saying. Coming down, coming down, slow. Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, come 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 down. There you go. I'm ready, man. Let's go. One, two, come on. Three, come on. Four, come on. Five, come on. Six. Come on, man. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Together. Together. Here we go. 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 This is a struggle. This is a struggle. This is a struggle. Come on. Come on. Ah, come on up. There you go. That was easy. <laughs> I'm 75. That was my 75 I was talking about. I earned this point. I earned you did. It. Appreciate it, Chef. Earned it. Chef, man, I appreciate you. Most good. Thank you so much, man. This is amazing. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Good. Good. good company, good workout. I mean, good pushes. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Can't ask me. I appreciate you, man. The food, like you said, the food, this little workout, mm -hmm. you know? Shit, now I'm going to have to get another burger, man. <laughs> there you go. I eat them all. Got some leftover? I appreciate, I appreciate you having me burn that off. That one needed that. Love it. Yeah, appreciate you, man. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. It's my pursuit to greatness.
To my pursuit to greatness. To my pursuit to greatness. Let's get it popping. This tunnel vision forever locked in. Winning mandatory. Losing never been. I got to win. You're like, yeah, huh? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you didn't hear me earlier, though, did you? Mm -hmm. I said I was with Chef Dan. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, it is. No, 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 no. He's all, he all about the motherland. Yeah. He's, pretty, he's pretty much a dual citizen at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I call it Corn Pops Burger. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I don't discriminate. I like them all. <laughs> mm. <laughs> is, 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 is this is this the one? Oh my! Let's see, see. We we should got a should have got a disclaimer. My pursuit to happiness is my pursuit to greatness. They can't do it like you do it. This is dedication. My pursuit to happiness is my pursuit to greatness. Get inspired by the flow, this your motivation.